Hi, this video is going to show you how Red Hat Fuse Integration Service can enhance the CI CD practice in the world of integration by creating an automated pipeline that builds and deploy integration layers and also have a human interaction in between them. First, let's take a look at the demo to set the background. We have two layers of application. One of the layer is a typical microservices layer connecting to a data source and retrieves information. It does money transfer um, for traditional banking and and also on Bitcoin networks. The second layer is the integration gateway, which correlates all the microservices. In this case, it hides away the details of the money source and provides a unified API for the clients to call. And then we are going to start installing the OpenShift on our local machine. If you already have an OpenShift running somewhere, please skip this part. And don't forget to import the Fuse integration service image into your OpenShift. After installing the Fuse Integration Service image, we're going to start by creating a project called FIS Demo. This project will be the workspace that we are going to run our demos in. And then we can start setting up and installing all the necessary environment and software to run this, uh, to run this demo. The first one is the Jenkins server. Jenkins server is the engine that we are going to run our uh, pipeline in. And then we are going to install the database for the traditional banking. This database will contain all the account information. And then we are going to create the broker. So the broker acts as a medium in between our uh, Bitcoin Gateway services and the MOC uh, blockchain application. So in OpenShift, you will now start to see all the services that we have just configured. Now let's go and install the two microservices. These are all pre caned in my demo. So what I'm doing is just importing the templates and starting up the application. Now the interesting part, for the Unify API layer, instead of pushing the application straight into the platform, I will deploy with an automated pipeline. This is a simplified pipeline. In real life, it could be much more complicated, but this gives you a basic idea of how to enhance the CI-CD practice integration. Since all the code are not on GitHub, I will not start the pipeline process. In normal circumstances, it can be triggered automatically when the code is updated, but for the demo purpose, I will start it manually. Now the pipeline has started the first stage which is building the image that we will be testing on. After they are successfully building the image, it will then automatically move to the next step, deploying the image into the staging environment. I have also set a manual checking point where a human can come in and verify the application and deployment result before letting it go to the next step. OpenShift platform will display various status of the running instance. I'm checking if the unified gateway is running this one talks to the traditional banking and get the remaining balance of different accounts. And the other one calls the blockchain mock service and returns the balance in the Bitcoin account. Once we verify everything works, we can come back to the pipeline view and continue the pipeline workflow, letting it to proceed to the next step. We do this by copying and tagging the image UAT and use it to deploy to the UAT environment. After the pipeline finish, by calling the API endpoint binding to the UIT environment, we can now see the application is running in UAT. Now I'm going to update the integration layer by adding the profile endpoint. So going back to the JBoss Developer Studio and adding a RESTful endpoint into it. Notice I have already defined a route that connects to the traditional banking profile endpoint. And then I will push this change to the source control repository. In this case, it's GitHub. Again, same as the previous step. In fact, this same pipeline should run frequently and repetitively if the architecture is properly designed with independent integration logic partitioned into smaller modules. 
It builds and updates the staging environment, and then start for a human decision again. Let's check the staging environment. Looks like it's working. Now, just to make sure, the UID environment is still running the old instance code, where it does not have the profile endpoint. Going back to the pipeline and promote the application to UAT. You see, the integration layer is successfully updated. In the pipeline view, you will also see the history of previously ran workflows. Going back to the application in UAT, you see the profile endpoint is now up and running. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.